Morning everyone. I've uh, ripped the digger apart. Um, what I'm trying to do is get that in there or up there. Um, it's quite a task. Now this is a uh, AC unit which I've just it's just arrived. Um, it's uh, that's suction and that's delivery, uh, air delivery. Um, very basic system. It's from Rigid. Um, runs on 12 volt, and they actually uh, make it a pretty basic system. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I was doing some bench testing yesterday, and it uh, actually does all right. So hopefully it'll be enough that it'll keep up with what I need. Um, apparently it'll take a space down uh, 20 degrees lower than ambient so you know generally at the height of summer this uh, digger is sitting at usually around 35 38 degrees um, and yeah I mean if I can bring that down to even 25 degrees I'd, I'd be happy <laughs> so um, so I don't know um, what I've been contemplating here is I wanted to try and get it in here um, normally this big cover sits across here um, that's the heater box that I took out yesterday um, and that normally sits in there so what I'm kind of wondering obviously it won't fit in here now I'm sitting out about here somewhere it's, a, it's about 80 mil 80 millimeters too long or too too wide um, this would be the main place to have it the um, the only other option is up behind the seat uh, in there to sit in there but I can't really get it in there this is the uh, window washer uh, bottle which I can relocate that's not a major um, and the only other option is to perhaps I'll just get what I can see on the screen is to put it up here remove this fan which has been my current um, cooling device uh, which I cut a hole in the roof and that brings it down underneath um, that top cover there so it's actually waterproofed to an extent a bit of rain you get like a little couple of drops come through there but it's a bilge fan so it's actually designed to deal with a bit of moisture um, and it's all sealed motor and blah 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 but yeah uh, if I was going to put it up here I would need to chop out that area um, and sink it like basically have a tub that sat down with a drainage um, line because it, you know I will get water in there I'll try and waterproof it from up top like have a lip up on the top side to stop water sort of running in there directly um, but I mean being honest I'd rather not do that um, I'd, I'd rather have I'd rather keep this in place because this is actually quite nice to have just as a fan um, when it is a bit colder on the other side of the coin I've now taken out my heater um, so in the winter months uh, I'm not going to have a heater so you know it's like <laughs> you're damned if you do and damned if you don't kind of like marriage anyway uh, yeah I'm gonna do some more homework what I'm thinking with this is I might be able to um, actually chop take this um, uh, vent off uh, sorry this uh, condenser off and I've got I've got a fair bit of uh, bend in this wire so I could actually straighten that out and this is only sitting on a very small coil with a lot of um, I don't know if you can see it in there there but what I'm thinking with this is actually taking this off and folding it under sorry I'll do that again <laughs> um, watching the thing not the uh, camera so actually folding this 
underneath um, because I've got more than enough to, of, of this this pipe here to do it. I've just got to be careful that I don't crimp it or break it. Therein lies the problem. Um, but yeah, if I got that folded underneath, um, that would sit in there just dandy. Um, and then I've also got enough room where I can, you know, get my ins and outs sorted. I can actually bring my, um, the suction line, if you will, comes directly from here, which is a, um, ouch, a vent actually here. So it will actually bring fresh air in um, because, you know, obviously the ambient temperature outside is that and what I might do is actually well, I don't know possibly have a way of um, maybe switching that so that it's either bringing cabin temp uh, cabin air in or outside air in um, we'll, we'll figure something out there but anyway I'm kind of I need to make up my mind um, and uh, do it I don't really like uh, messing around with this refrigeration gear because it is fairly brittle to an extent um, these things are actually made fairly well um, but yeah I mean this thing cost me about uh, 1200 bucks NZ landed um, so I don't want to muck around with it too much but um, anyway we'll see how we go I'll bring you back when I make a decision or bugger something up one of the two all right, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, what I'm going to try and do, um, what I'm going to try and do is see how good it is I am at getting it. Um, find a screw here that works. See how good I am at trying to get it bent around and under because I really think that's the uh, the best way um, it's fairly flimsy so it's it's fairly flexible like I say this is the only pipe that I need to bend um, I've got a couple of um, zip ties there which I'll get rid of deals with that so that's the feed for the two fans okay so um, just try and bend this out of the way a bit because I'm gonna need to cut that I'll just get a quick measure and see where I need to cut that
Okay, um, that's in. I've just got a couple of simple brackets set in there. Um, and I mean, more or less, just going to sit like that. It should be a right for a second. Um, I think that's going to work. We'll whip it over to the um, digger and um, put it in place. Uh, the only concern I have is how to mount this to the digger. Um, uh, what I may end up doing is having a bracket. I've actually got these, which would be all I need. Sit those in there and then just fix it to the inside of the digger. Um, well, it should be enough and then maybe I can put another support bracket on the front or something. But anyway, let's uh, throw it in there and have a look. I'll bring you back. Alrighty, I think we're almost getting there. Tight. Tighter than a tight thing. It's ugly, but it'll work. Ouch. Now, this is how I sold it. You might do it a different way. I don't really care. been doing it this way for about, I don't know, 20 years, never once had a connection fail. Okay. She's tight in here, um, but it's in, and I'm pretty actually impressed at it, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Now, actually, if you're wondering what the yellow wire is, uh, it's actually just a um, secondary wire for the heater, um, and it's it basically just. Um, yeah, basically just uh, for the for the two stage on the heater, like the two two speeds, and uh, this doesn't have it, so <coughs> whatever works. So. Well, I think I've had this heat gun for about as long as I've been wiring as well. Twenty years, I can't believe it's. Lasted that long. Okie dog. We are in. We are in. We are wired up. We are picking the camera around.
I'm gonna let that run for a while and uh, we'll bring it back when we're sort of hitting rock bottom. Um, it is on a bit of an angle, I know. Um, I've done that so that the um, uh, so that it just sort of fits in a bit better um, with the um, plumbing, just so I've got a bit of a downhill. The drain on the other side is a bit of a problem, but um, I don't imagine that a little bit of water condensation sitting at the bottom. Is going to harm it. There is a drain uh, on the other side, um, so anyway, we'll sort all that out later. Okay. Well, it's in. You can't see it. Uh, pretty happy. Um, I blocked off this hole. And this vent just put a plate in behind, drilled a couple of holes, screws, blah blah blah. Drilled a hole in here for the vent, uh, so this is where the cold air will be exiting. Um, ambient air will be going in through this tube here uh, from the uh, outside vent. And there, I don't know if you can really see it. So that lens is a bit dirty. Let me clean your eye. Better. So, um, yeah, everything's all in place and back together. Um, yeah, the only downfall is now I don't have a heater, which uh, for 99.9% .9 of the year I don't need. Uh, it's only on a morning where it's like 2 degrees that I might want to put the heater on, um, in which case I'll just have to grow up here and uh, put on some extra undies. So, um, all right, so what I'll do is I'll uh, fire it up and um, see what's going on. I mean, the cab, it's pretty bloody warm. I think ambient temperature in here is about 30 something. Oh, yeah, 32, almost 33. So, um, I'm going to put it on there because that's hot as well. Uh, that's hot, that's hot, everything's hot, so we've been sitting in the sun. Now anyway, I'll leave that there, well, um, and get our fire up. Shut that up. Uh, well, I've got a couple of teething issues. Um, I think the 
uh, compressor in there is just getting a little bit warm, so I may need to uh, just put a small uh, fan. I've got a, I've actually got a small bilge fan. I think it's still in here. Yeah, that guy there, little inline blower. Um, I put that in a while ago. I could actually whip that out, and I've got enough room under there to actually put that in. So. Um, might do that and that'll actually end up keeping the um, compressor a bit cooler uh, and therefore keeping the whole unit cooler um, and letting it put out more cold air but I'll do that uh, at a later date and um, yeah if anyone's wondering what uh, this little do flicky here is it's actually a I think they call it like a pointometer something to that effect so what it basically does is just um, uh, you that little screw there you adjust the speed of the compressor up and down and I've sort of been faffing with that a little bit just to try and get it to stay a little bit cooler but I think being in there it doesn't have a lot of airflow so all right well hey thanks for watching uh, I hope that's uh, a bit of entertainment for you um, I will do an update later on and um, and uh, let you know how it's going on. All right, um, I think I was having an issue calling it down. I did. I bring it. I brought it down. I bringed it. Brought it down two degrees. So um, yeah, the ambient temperature in here was pretty ridiculous, and the frame was hot from sitting in the sun and stuff like that. Not to say that when I'm operating could well be the same. So I don't know. Um, look, it's all going to help. I got my fan up there, so. You know, I think that with this, um, it's definitely going to keep things a whole lot cooler in the cab anyway than what they have been. You can't go wrong. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. Appreciate it. Get back to work.